Hello, my name is Steven Sanchez. I'm, I am here in representation of the Universidad Federal Santa Carina cha chapter from Brazil. <clears throat> I'm going to show you two different kinds of applications. The first one is about polarization and the other is about more patterns. For, to talk about polarization, I have to talk about the light as a electromagnetic wave. He has a duration of propagation and also has oscillation duration. With one polarizer, you can see the light coming from you in one duration. And if I put another polarizer, I can block the light. Yeah, because this one only left past the light with one duration. What can I do with this information? Well, please be closer. Be closer, please. If I make, I can block this light here. But if I put a material, I can block the light too. But if I pass the polarizer for this material, I can see some information about the material. Yeah. What happened in the material? Each place of the material is making a different kind of rotation of polarization. This quantity of rotation is for each color different. Then when I put the polarizer, I can choose what color paths more. Here, for example, I can see in the middle of the material a concentration of stress. Yeah. In this one application, I am seeing a uh, LSD monitor. <laughs> what happened with the LSD monitor? It's similar application of this one. I have a light source, a polarizer, and a material. In this case, the liquid crystal. The liquid crystal makes the each color, the red one, the green one, and the blue one, and each pixel make a different rotation of polariz polarization. Now, you see, I can pass the polarization and I can choose what quantity of color I let pass. Yeah? Now, look this one. It's again, I'm going to show you again the demonstration, but this one with this bigger application. Now, I'm going to show you how is this stress with this material. Look what happened when I make this stress. We are going to see in a really cool effect. This information about the stress of material. I, I, this place I can't see it, and in this place, I, yes, I can see it. Well, this and some application about polarization. Now I'm going to talk about modif patterns. Modif patterns is an effect <coughs> with making with, I have two similar uh, pattern. In this case, I have line patterns, and this I have, have two line patterns. But but we, I have one to get one interfering with another. I can make some different kind of information. I can make lines with the pen with the rotation. With this one, I can make some more cool. Look, you are seeing a here bigger line. With different kind of rotation, I can say, I can take on some information. Well, if I make a rotation bigger, I have a smaller, a smaller lines. And also I can make a displacement and make some different information. Also, I can make <clears throat> information about the surface. For example, you are seeing different interference here. Why? Because the light comes from outside it's passing through the, this line and making a shadow. Then you are seeing the interference between the shadow and the lines. I can make with this different construction of the surface. The surface. Now I'm going to show you one interference, circular interference. I have circular lines and circular line here too. Now I'm going to interference the lines and you can see different effects. You can see the circular lines and the radial lines. If you see this image closer, 
you can see the lines with a gap bigger here and here is smaller. In bits, one is different. It's always the same line, the space between the lines. Now you can see why I have this pattern in this here. Now to finish, I'm going to show you the last experiment. This is animation making with a with this kind of effect. Well, thank you so much.